So the battle kicked off about 1.30 in the morning. It commenced with the uh, javelin engagement of the uh, battle group armoured uh, sort of element that came from the north. Uh, that subsequently pushed our forces back to the main defensive position. Well, we set up this uh, defensive position and uh, we just had our final attack, our final assault. Uh, it was pretty good, went well. Just developed our soldier skills and our field craft, which is, which is really important. This is like the bread and butter of our core. So this is the final phase of exercise Diamond Sprint in Southern Jackaroo. It saw the culmination of all the activities, the lead up training, both live and blank, for all the participants to the exercise. We had the Japanese Self-Defence Force. We also had the US Marine Corps and US Army elements. All those elements combined to form a multinational task force as part of the exercise. You know when you've broken in on that death right pit, mate. It's an exercise that we certainly couldn't do in Japan and we could only do internationally. So it was a really great opportunity and a fantastic exercise. Clearly one of the best exercises I've been involved in in my 32 years in the Army. It was designed for us to remediate some of our conventional warfighting skills in a, in a peer opposition environment uh, in a conventional setting, uh, a defensive exercise. It went extraordinarily well. The two things that impressed me the most, I think, were the quality of our junior leaders out there. The second thing that impressed me was our international visitors. They did a fabulous job. They took every opportunity to integrate and to learn. I myself have never experienced a live fire uh, in a defensive setting on a brigade frontage. What I saw yesterday was phenomenal. Converge one round four for effect over.